Uh, Kasemi from the chat, question for Bill and Mike as he had her body propped up in the passenger seat for hours that morning. Wouldn't there be a huge amount of DNA evidence on that seat and in the car? Yes, uh, Kasemi, there mm -hmm. would be. There would be evidence of her sitting there. Uh, and they and I read the um, crime scene report. They swabbed and they did a whole crime scene uh, rundown on the vehicle. So they did everything they were supposed to do. So, Kasemi, you're asking some great questions. You're keeping us on our toes. Keeping it's good. Our, and our criminal justice hats on. I'm going to go back to Chris and um, Deborah Stearns and part of their interview. And nothing else. Okay. I don't think he may have, he may have, I gave him access to a second Chase account that I, that I set up for him, but mm -hmm. it hasn't been used in for whatever time. So if he has that, it doesn't have any money in the account. Mm -hmm. So other than that, that's the only thing I would know he had. I gave him, um, uh, he would have use of the gas. This is Stefan Stearns' dad, uh, Christopher Stearns. And when he referred to his parents in his police interview, he said they were two old deaf people that raised poodles. And um, they're preparing for the end of their life. That's what he said in right. his interview. Nice. But nice. meanwhile, the dad pays his damn rent. And they really didn't. They were thrilled when Stefan left the house to go back mm -hmm. to uh, Jennifer's because they were sick and tired of his whole act. Part, but I had it, made him fill it up and give me the card back so he didn't have use of that. Mm -hmm. okay. What banks does he have? Chase and... Well, he, he has a he has a second account that I set up, but he has his own account with uh, 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 Disney Partners. Credit Union mm -hmm. or something? Okay. Oh, yeah. We don't have any access to that, so I don't know what he's got in there, what he got. Have you looked to see if there was any phone activity on your account that you pay for anytime during that Monday, Tuesday area? I didn't look at his account. Um, uh, to answer your question, no. But then uh, a Wednesday, uh, since he didn't have his phone, I had a spare phone that I used for business. Mm -hmm which I think you guys have, iPhone mini. And I said, here, use this until you get your phone back. Again, thinking everything's innocent and what have you. Um, and so I gave that to him around three o'clock Wednesday afternoon. I said, use this. And, and, and then um, we went downstairs and met with the detectives and then they were escorted away. And then the last, last, last time I saw the phone other than him calling me, to tell me that the detective said when they pull into the Orange County Operations Center, they're going to go straight back. And I go, oh, okay. And I'm to go to the left and park out in front of the main building. Mm -hmm. We're going there for the press conference. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get there and then I'm expecting to meet up with Jen and Stefan to go up to the press conference. And then when trying to reach them, Stefan's phone is dead at this point. It's turned off. Finally, finally, Jen responds to me, and they said they're making arrangements. Go inside. You'll get a pass. They'll take you upstairs to the press, press conference. So by the time I got up there, it was over, and now I'm just trying to, where is everybody? Mm -hmm. And But the only call I, that came in, because I wiped out everything that I could think of to wipe out, because if he's going to have access to that phone, like, I've got my contacts in there where I put all my passwords and username and passwords. Uh, I know that store and passwords, but, you know, I want quick access to it or something, whatever, or other information. What are you going to do? No. No, just... No, just say it. Just yeah, say it. just tell me why. So, um, and then anything else that would have been uh, confidential that I didn't want to have access to, you mm -hmm. know, uh, I deleted off of there. Because, um, again, I only expected them to use it for a short, a short time because the police said... So you can hear all these barking poodles. They sound yeah. a little bit uh, heavier voices than poodles, but that's why Stefan couldn't live there. The poodles drove me crazy, you know. <laughs> but but you're a 37-year-old man living uh, living for free in your parents' house, and you're all you do is complain, you know. And all you do is apparently is stay in your room and sleep and don't work and never come out and just play stupid games. 
that children are supposed to be playing, not a 37 year old man. And a lot of people, hey, can we give your phone back? Can we give your car back? Well, I do what I do what that was about. They were, mm -hmm. they were going to escort him without handcuffing and what have you. They wanted him to be comfortable mm -hmm. and what have you. So I didn't expect to lose my iPhone as a result of that. Which you should be able to get that iPhone back, but I'll double check and let you know. Well, I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Because yeah. I asked Alec about it. I said, well, it's being transferred to Kissimmee. He said, and I said, well, this is going to be a slow process. So anyway. No, we should be able to get you your iPhone back. Yeah. His other phone, no. No, no, I uh, expect that, no. What about the car? The car, no. No, yeah, we already know that. 